So the title of this video is 5 Things You Didn't Know About Eddie Munster. But truthfully, a couple of these fun little facts are about the actor who played Eddie, Butch Patrick. For years, Butch has been doing his very best to keep the Munsters alive in the hearts of classic TV fans everywhere. And you know what? I think he's been doing a darn fine job. The Munsters is such a fun show. You've got Fred Gwynn, Yvonne DiCarlo, Al Lewis, and a couple of gals who played in East Maryland. You know, the ugly duckling in the family. First it was Beverly Owens and then Pat Priest. And then there was Eddie, played by Butch Patrick. Believe it or not, this is not my favorite role that he's done. More on that to come in a bit. The Munsters run on network TV was a relatively short one, just two seasons on ABC, beginning in 1964. Prior to getting picked up by the network, a pilot was produced, which brings us to fun Eddie fact number one. That sure looks like Eddie, but that sure as heck ain't Butch Patrick. There were some differences in the pilot. First and foremost, both Eddie and Lily were played by different actors. This young man here is child actor Happy Derman. Apparently the network executives did not like his version of the character, and they asked that he be replaced. Which brings us to fun fact number two. While Butch may have been ultimately selected for the role, he wasn't the actor who the producers first considered. They liked Bill Mooney, who would later on star in another classic TV series, Lost in Space. Apparently Bill's parents didn't think much of the role and they shot down the idea of him playing Eddie before it got any serious traction. Bill would later on show up in an episode of the Munsters titled, Come Back Little Googie. Fun fact number three is that the Munsters share some TV DNA with another beloved classic TV show, Leave it to Beaver. How is that, you ask? Well, both programs have the same producers, Joe Connolly and Bob Mosier. In the new Rob Zombie Munsters movie, he does his best to point out that common heritage a couple of times. I'm not going to tell you where or when it happens. One is quite obvious, the other not so much. Good luck. Fun fact number four is that Butch absolutely loved episodes where Eddie got to ride around in the Munster coach. And truthfully, who wouldn't? That Chuck Barris creation was so darn cool. A few years back, in an interview with Mark Vogger of the Ashbury Press, Butch talked about a specific time when Fred Gwynn went rogue and took the Munster coach for an unauthorized spin around town with Eddie in tow. The two of them were only gone for about 20 minutes, but it was such a good memory for Butch. Not just because of the car, but also because of the time he got to spend with Fred. Fun fact number five is that while Eddie may have loved his doll Wolf Wolf, Butch hated the darn thing. And you know what? I don't blame him. Eddie and Butch were much cooler than that. And truth be told, Wolf Wolf wasn't even the scariest doll on TV during the 60s. I give that honor to this horrific thing. Buffy may have called her Mrs. Beasley, but she will always be Mrs. Beastly to me. Yuck! More awful than Chucky! Let's move on to something a bit more pleasant. Going back to that pilot for the Munsters that I referenced at the beginning of this video, did you know that it was filmed in color? Along with replacing the actors who played Eddie and Lily, the network would only pick up the show contingent upon it being filmed in black and white. Butch has said that he feels like that requirement led to the Munsters very short two season run. By the second season many of the shows that were competing against the Munsters for viewers were filmed in color. And you know what he may be right but there is something absolutely wonderful about the fact that the show was filmed in black and white. It gives the program something else in common with all of those classic universal horror movies from the 30s, 40s, and 50s. A bonus fun fact is that the October 2022 issue of Remind Magazine is filled with all sorts of good stuff related to the Munsters. And beyond that classic TV show, the magazine also spends time reminiscing about television's first horror host, Vampira, who is also well known for her participation in Ed Wood's spectacularly awful Plan 9 from Outer Space. And as is always the case, there's tons of trivia throughout the magazine, culminating in editor David Kohei's awesome Ultimate Trivia section, which asks 25 questions about classic monster movies and television shows. That thing was so much fun to work through. And it's no surprise to me that Remind chose 1984 as its spotlight year this month. Think about all the great horror movies that came out that year. 
In addition to A Nightmare on Elm Street and Ghostbusters, you had Children of the Corn, Firestarter, Gremlins, and Chud. Fantastic movies, one and all. You know, I'm not sponsored by Remind Magazine, but I am a huge fan. So if you're interested in learning more, I'll post a link to more info in the description section of this video. So remember when I said Eddie Munster wasn't my favorite Butch Patrick role? Here's my fave. In 1971, Butch landed the starring role on Sid and Marty Croft's Saturday morning children's program, Lidsville, which was this absolutely bonkers show about a boy lost in a strange land of walking, talking, singing hats. Those Croft brothers really were something else. But this video is not about Lidsville, so let's get back to the topic at hand. All I can say is yikes. That Marilyn really was quite plain looking especially when you compared her to the rest of the members of the family. Looking good, Herman. Hey, if you're up for the challenge, I've published a trivia video about the Munsters. There it is. Go ahead and click on it. I'm pretty much done here. But before you go, thank you so much for watching.